Now let's take the same equation and use the graphing calculator on it. Okay, so I'm going to move this up a tiny bit. Turn it on. So there is the equations that I've typed into my graphing calculator. I've typed in the left hand side x cubed minus 7x minus 6. I've typed in the right hand side of 0 as my second equation. And I hit graph and there is my graph. The windows that I've used are negative 5 and 7 and negative 15 and 5. Okay, so please make sure that when you are answering it by graphing, you put in your window dimensions here or you're going to lose half a mark. Okay, so again, they were negative 5 and 7 and negative 15 and 5. So negative 5 and 7, that's the, the X windows. And negative 15 and 5 are the Y windows. And the equations I've used are Y1 equals X to the power 3 minus 7X uh, sorry, minus 6, and y2 is 0. So for full marks, what the marker want, wants to see is which equations have you used, and type it in the way you see it on your graphing calculator. What are the windows? Then you can actually sketch the graph, and make sure when you sketch this graph that you've allowed yourself to get the full loop in here, and the full loop down there. Okay, you should also put in some of the tick marks and put in some of the numbers. Okay, now to check on our intersection points, uh, I'm going to use second Sorry, I'm going to use 2nd, calc, and 5. Okay. I'm going to use this little arrow blobby so that I can get the blob over top of the first intersection. And then I'm going to hit enter button three times. So, one, two, three. And what that do, does is give me my first answer of x minus 2 and y, of course, is 0. Then I'm going to repeat that. Second, calc, five. Use the right arrow button. Move that little blobby over right there to the other intersection button. Hit enter three times. One, two, three. And that gives me my next answer. Negative one and zero. And then second, calc, and five. And you can see the little blob is moving along there. You see it right down there? Move it along until it gets really close to the intersection. Whoops, I went a bit farther on. Then hit your enter button three times, two, three, and it'll give you your last answer. Okay, x is positive three, y is zero. Okay, so your final answer would be, if your original question only has X's in it, like this one does way up here, okay, that there's your original question right there, it only has X's in it, then your answers just have to have X's in it. So negative one, X is negative two, or X is positive three, are the three answers, okay? Now, of course, the graphing calculator is going to be able to give you answers no matter whether they are nice round whole numbers or not. If they are irrational numbers, uh, you know, long decimals, then the original question could not be factored. And synthetic division wouldn't have helped you because the original question could not be factored.